This video is designed to inform you on the correct way to install the Gulfstream Titanium High Efficiency Ultra Quiet Heat Pump. The heat pump will be delivered on a pallet and you should make arrangements to clear a path to the pool equipment. With a flathead screwdriver or 8mm wrench or socket, unscrew the four screws on the control panel cover. Pull the cover down and off. Locate a plastic bag with documents and additional parts and remove it. In the plastic bag, you will find a warranty registration card, an install and operations manual, two plumbing adapters, and two extra screws. Location is probably the most important consideration when installing the heat pump. Poor installation can adversely affect performance and cause problems with servicing. Locate the heat pump on a level surface within three feet of the existing pool plumbing. Consider the direction the heater is facing. The control panel must always face out, away from walls and obstructions for ease of customer use and serviceability. The water connections run out the side of the heater. This keeps piping out of the way so customers and service personnel don't step on or trip over the piping. Have a minimum of 12 inches from the house or any other obstruction on the backside and non-plumbing side. Have a minimum of three foot clearance on the front side for servicing and it is very important to have a minimum of three foot clearance on the top from any overhang such as porches. Low overhangs could cause the unit to recirculate the cold air and this could cause the unit to go into defrost mode. The heat pump gets its heat from the surrounding air. Enclosed spaces such as garages and sheds without proper ventilation should be avoided and may void warranty of the refrigerant components. The piping sequence is pool pump filter, heater, chlorination system, pool. Screw on the two, two by two and a half inch plumbing connectors with sealing gaskets to the heater. Make sure water flow is correct as indicated on the back of the heater. Rigid PVC piping is recommended and all joints secured with PVC glue. Installation must conform to all local codes. Try to keep elbows in piping to a minimum to avoid excessive pressure drop. We use a full flow heat exchanger, so no external bypass is needed up to 70 gallons per minute. The recommended proper flow for greatest efficiency is 50 gallons per minute. To access the control board, unscrew the one screw on the right hand side of the control box. The electrical requirements can be found on the rating plate located on the bottom front of the base pan of the unit. A qualified electrician must install the electrical power in accordance with local code requirements. Conduit must be run all the way up to the electrical box and installed with an appropriate connector. Running wires without conduit into the control box not only allows snakes, bugs, lizards, etc. into the box, which could possibly short components, but also poses a direct short hazard where wires penetrate the control box. On the top right hand corner of the control board are the connections for outside controllers. Only dry contact, no voltage connections are to be made here. In the bottom of the control box there is a rubber piercing plug through which to run the low voltage wiring. Bonding is often confused with electrical grounding. On the outside of our control box, on the bottom right hand corner, is a bonding lug. Because all metals have different electrical potentials, all metal and electrical components of the pool system must be bonded together. Board operation is kept simple. You simply need to use the mode button to toggle between pool and spa and the up and down arrows to adjust temperature set points. When your heater is delivered, it may be programmed with a smart time delay, which is indicated by a countdown of seconds in the lower right hand corner of the display. You may also lock settings by simply pressing and holding the mode button for approximately 20 seconds until locked displays on the digital readout. Repeat the same to unlock the controls. These are the only controls the customer needs to know about or use. All other setups are done in the hidden menu and should not be relayed to the customer. For questions about installation, please call the Heat Pump Services Department at 954-318 6900.